What's going on everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again with the next D6 video. As always, thank you all so much for tuning in. I know you guys are going to be shocked, but I finally got through the hell mode. It's been a minute since I've gotten it done, but again, I've been slacking, but in a good way. I've been trying to get my four-star orbs as many as I can as I you know, have been doing a lot of different upgrades, uh, building a lot of new units for a couple of compositions that I'm going to be using in the giant stages, so more of that down the road um with regards to that though we are going to be pushing into tower promises stage level 60 and with that in mind we're going to be showcasing um one of our newest natural five stars uh from a previous video paper june we finally got him to six star got some runes on him so we're going to go ahead and take a look at him real quick as well as awaken our first uh, or take our six star monster and get our first fully awakened monster to get the full-blown stats here so without further ado let's get right into it now i ain't gonna lie when i pulled the paper june i was a little bit depressed here because obviously rock june is super op but after doing a little bit more testing get a little bit of feedback from the community i realized that this unit is actually pretty darn good here a um, couple of things that are going on here that are kind of like a little bit misunderstood uh the first of which which is something that i just found out today just after testing on my own um is its main breaking skill royal combo so taking a look at it it does a linear damage here right there's a linear damage and actually has some pretty decent range for a linear aoe um, you know, 65% chance to launch and then 60% chance to increase a random target skill tool with the cooldowns by 30, 30 seconds. So you can obviously see a lot of value out of this when it comes to PvP, being able to lock down an opponent and not allowing them to do their main skills, especially if it's one of their crucial units on their team is really darn nice here. But that's not even the gist of it here. Um, when it comes to breaking abilities, some of these breaking abilities have kind of like a sub type of effect here. And this one in, in particular, it's called an amplification skill. Uh, or there's a stacking skill as well and the amplification one is basically if you allow it to kind of regenerate you know multiple times however many it can hold um it'll uh essentially do a little bit more damage or you'll be able to get a little bit more value out of it hence the word amplified right um but in this particular situation even though they're calling it an amp skill in the description it is actually a stacking skill type of a break here so what that means is that you are going to have multiple opportunities to use this skill. This particular uh, hero has two chances to use it. And when you think about the value of uh, having one unit that can essentially, uh, you know, break, you know, four breaking points, it's pretty, pretty strong. I believe uh, one of our subscribers recently told me that the Scissors Gunter version, as well as Paper Jude, is probably one of the only few, you know, attackers out there or non attacks out there that can essentially break four points on their own. Why is this important is because as you uh, move down the road when it comes to your composition, you're going to be fighting super hard bosses that are going to have upwards of five or even six break points. So being able to incorporate certain units in your team that can provide you, you know, some kind of utility, some damage, and of course the breaking points that you need to uh, you know, do or use, uh, this is going to be really, really useful for you. The fact of the matter is that this actual skill does pretty darn uh, good damage. In addition to that, he has another AoE skill that's also going to be providing um, some really good damage as well, and it's going to create a damage absorption skill. Now, this is another one that was kind of worded a little bit different here, and I think it was uh, Neon Nazi. On Tell me, he didn't just say that. His uh, YouTube channel that recently uh, mentioned something as well. We we couldn't understand it early on here, as he did a paper June review. Um, you know, this one here it says absorb 10% of the enemy attack for four seconds, and it creates a shield that restores the team HP. Well. What we didn't realize is that when that damage absorption shield is created, you essentially are uh, ignoring damage uh, for those four seconds. And of course, you know, like it states, a certain percentage of that damage taken in is going to be able to, you know, going to be able to heal you, which is obviously very good. You know, I was initially thinking that it's only going to absorb a certain amount. You're still going to be taking, a, you know, a little bit of damage here, but it actually blocks the damage for that particular amount of time. You know, that combined with the fact that these are both two defense scaling uh, units and it's the paper version you can already kind of tell pairing it up with like a paper fran a soho you're going to find a lot of value of it um when you're looking for some of those paper only compositions you know going after those uh rock teams or whatnot here so really unique monster indeed i'm really uh really excited to showcase it and even though we're getting ready to fight a boss this is actually uh, scissors we're gonna use a rock lead and try to you know get the leverage on that we're gonna see if we can uh, get a little bit of value of having those multiple breaking abilities so that we can control the mini bosses there and just try to knock down and burst out that damage uh, with regards to the rest of our team here so let's see if we can get it done so we're gonna be running uh, paper June with rock Francisca Carlotta and then I got scissor Yannick on the bottom there uh, to go ahead and try to provide me a little bit more damage reduction here um, Scissor Yannick is super OP, really, really great monster. Um, but 
Um, I, I find more value. <laughs> I find more value in the in the actual Lido skills so much than the uh, than the rest of the skills, even though he has really really good skills here. So I think it's about two to three waves. We're just going to kind of work our way around here. We obviously don't have any issues when it comes to these initial waves. Whoops, wrong skill. But uh, what we're just going to go ahead and do is kind of work them down slowly and steadily, as we don't want to deal uh, with any issues here. I'm going to go ahead and. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and wait on the skills here. So I don't, I forget if it's three waves or two, but I think it's three. What we're planning on doing, what we're planning on doing is we're going to go ahead and kind of cheese it out here. Um, once again, guys, if you guys are new to Tower of Promises and you're having a hard time, don't forget about the fact that in this particular, uh, you know, stage, so to speak here, we get five minutes. So take advantage of it. When you know that they're, you kill them, um, you want to go ahead and get your skill ups here. It's super important to take advantage of the time that you have as there's no, uh, restriction to how long it takes you to clear, right? So what we're going to go ahead and do is once we get that third wave, I think it's going to be the big wave with the with the mini towers. We're going to go ahead and pop our shield. Um, and so, whoops, <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. That was not supposed to happen. So now we're going to go ahead and work our way here. Let's see if we can pull our units over here, get the break in, and now we got to move around. We got to move around. So we can go ahead and cycle it through. We got it. We got to keep on burst into the way. Okay. Again, let's go ahead and get our shield. Let's go ahead and get our shield. And get this other skill here. So we got everything just kind of working down slowly and steadily. But we got to move away right now. We got to get away. That other tower, we weren't able to break. Why isn't my thing moving? Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. So again, I'm in a bad situation here because my... My thumb is covering the whole screen. So trying to get in a situation. Oh, these are all clumped up. Gosh darn it. They're, they're all clumped up here. So again, I got knocked back from the tower. So let's go ahead and do this, do that. And we got the shield up for a little bit. Again, I'm going to back away. I'm going to back away because the shield's down. But now I'm going to go ahead and break those if I can. So while they're breaking, I'm going to go ahead and damage these guys. I'm actually going to use my breaking skill just to get them down if I can. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, okay, the breaking is up once again, so let's go ahead and got, get both of them down. I don't know what happened there, I don't know what happened there, I think I did not break him, so that is not good, because I believe one of them can heal. One of them may be able to heal her, okay, so again, working our way around, we're trying to get Carlotta's skill back up, I almost want to use my knockback ability, but once again, I got to wait, I got to be patient, I got to be patient, as I don't see... Okay, let me go ahead and try to break it. Oh my God, rip the dream. Let me try to break this one. Nope, we did the wrong skill. We did the wrong skill. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. We got the break. Let's get the defense in. So now that we got the def uh, now we got the defense broken, we should be able to take these guys out pretty quickly. Can we get the break over there? We missed the break on that one, but that is okay. Our absorption shield is up right now. So it looks like that's going to be GG. I don't think I'm going to have any more issues. If this is not the boss, we're in trouble. Holy cow. Oh, I just did my heal. I hope this is not the boss. I, I, I'm hoping that was the boss. Oh, thank God, dude. So, uh, I am all. I don't even know what to say about that stage, man. I was all over the place here. We missed a couple of, like, clutch breaks. Um, the biggest thing there is just maneuvering around as best as you can and trying to uh, keep those towers broken so that it can't do its big knockback and its big damage here. And then, of course, work our way around. As you saw, some of those ads that were coming into play, they had some really good DPS um, within range there. So um, just trying to micromanage micromanage the towers while taking out the DPS as quick as you can is going to be uh, the way to go. As you might have guessed, we probably could have been, we probably could have made it just a little bit easier, but apparently... I have to fail in every single video that I do. Like I said before, in the beginning of this video, I said I was going to take the time to go ahead and do my first fully awakened six star uh, unit. And the first unit is going to be the Rock Francisca. Uh, why is that? Because obviously I have the awakening materials. Um, but, you know, I, I ain't going to lie about it. Uh, I honestly, I love both of the Franciscos here, but I found myself more often than not using Rock Francisca in so many different combinations of my team. Obviously, the breaking mechanic is good when it comes to PvE, but more importantly, that first skill, once you get that first skill leveled up to two, that 100% shield 
removal um, is super great, especially against those Adonises, dealing with them in the PvP. Um, and then, of course, her second skill, if you guys haven't seen it already, um, when I have her pair with another breaker, either her using it, using her breaking ability or another breaker out there that has it down, being able to use this second skill, providing the defense break, if they're disabled, right, if they're broken, we get 81% ignored on the defense here. And if you guys, again, take a time to look at some of these skills, and if you look at some of these skills here, you will soon realize that when you get them maxed out, they will do an absurd amount of damage. Basically, this one going up to 100% uh, ignore defense here. So without question, this unit is really, really good. I can't even uh, lie right now. I'm pretty excited to go ahead and get a couple of these skill ragoons and start working on some of my premium uh, heroes here. So um, without further ado, we have to talk about what you guys you know came for this video, um, which is that free legendary summon, the free summons, right? We already know that when it comes to the events, uh, you know, the different uh, events that are going on, the super prophecies, there's a lot of different ways uh, to get those to get those free summons. However, one of the things that I think people uh, don't take a lot of time to look for to, to look at is the codex here, the hero codex here. So, um, actually, I'm sorry, the the collection codex. So, with regards to this, we have the five different factions. And basically, as you collect the different heroes in the game, uh, you're going to be able to essentially get some free scrolls here, anywhere from the three star uh, superior summons scroll all the way up to some guaranteed five star summons here. So, um, as you guys can see, even though I haven't been playing a super long time, right, basically about three weeks, um, some of these ones I've actually uh, gotten already 40 out of the 55. And so one of the most misunderstood is like, how in the world am I going to get up there to get these things? That that sounds like it's going to be an eternity. How are you getting all of these, um, uh, you know, unique units? Well, the uniqueness comes from not just the original monster, but awakening the monster here. So uh, if we take a look at the uh, hero codex, actually, I went to the wrong one there. If we take a look at the hero codex, um, you will see that in all my categories here, I have all the one star, two star, and the majority of the three stars in all the categories here um, awakened out. Now, notice that there is a couple of two stars here that do not have awakening um, you know, options here, but all of these ones here um, down the road have allowed me to get you know upwards of 10 to 15 extra monsters simply for the fact of awakening them. When it comes to the two-star awakening uh, monsters, basically you're going to need the basic awakening material as well as the elemental awakening material of that one, whether it's you know the yellow one for scissors, the red one for rock, or the paper one for or the blue one for paper. Um, all in all, for the two-star monsters, it literally costs four awakening material for each of them total for all three of them. And again, in order to get the new appearance, you have to get them to the three-star mark here. So it's pretty easy here. Uh, as far as getting those up in there and of course like i said before you know take take your time as you are using your as you're getting collecting the one star two star and even three star fodder you know you're leveling them up bringing them up if you are you know in, in that stage of the game where you have a hundred two hundred of those pieces uh you have them you know available for you to use definitely be, before you start taking those two star to three stars and feeding them into your you know max three star to make it a four star whatever make sure that you are awakening uh, these monsters, if you haven't already, those two stars and three star monsters, respectively. Um, if, I rem if I recall correctly, uh, the three star ones are right around 12 pieces for each of them. Um, I think it's three three each for the first, four for the second, and five for the third to get the awakening uh, new appearance look. But when it comes to the two star ones, it's only four total. Okay, so let's go ahead and all, as always, we'll go, to go ahead and finish off the video um, with some goodness here. Uh, if you guys didn't know already, when you get the fully awakened uh, hero, you get a skill of Ragoon. So obviously there's some emphasis on, um, you know, getting those all, you know, fully awakened. But that being said, if you guys didn't see the materials that you need, one of the things that a lot of different YouTubers in the D6 community have been talking about is the lack of legendary awakening material if you are constantly three-starring natural five stars or our high up monsters here or whatnot so you know keep that in mind make sure that you're managing your resources so that you don't get set back and potentially have to essentially wait for them to come into play for some other event or start you know pulling out that visa right um let's go ahead since there is no button here i guess i'm gonna go ahead and collect it i'm gonna have to collect them all here we got a couple of four star i got a couple of four star uh, uh guaranteed scrolls here and then we got a gin one we got a Gen 1 here that is going to be legendary, the 4 to 5 star one. So I think that is all of them. Let me double check. Let me double check because that, I'm the one to do it. Okay. I did grab them all. I did grab them all. And naturally, we got to go ahead and check in our time shop. I believe I saw some goodness here. 
Um, again, even though I'm still in the later stages, you know, or, or, you know, I've been progressing, you know, for the last few weeks now, I know this seems kind of silly, but I've been, I'm still buying all the awakening material, uh, whenever I can here, uh, because obviously I, I have been, you know, constantly utilizing them, uh, you know, with, with regards to just, you know, awakening all those monsters. So I'm just trying to get as many as I can, because I believe that they're relatively cheap here. Um, we just recently finished out the week. So we were able to get a level 12 chest, uh, guilt silver chest. Once again, guys, if you are not in a guild right now, even if you haven't, if you, if you haven't, you know, found a guild or, or maybe there wasn't a space in the guild you were looking for, please make sure that you do what you can to go ahead and hop in a guild so that you can start collecting the rewards that you can get. There's a ton of different rewards you can purchase in the shop, some free scrolls, a skilled dragoon that you can get once a week. Um, in addition to that, as your guild levels up, you're going to be getting a little bit more gold uh, just in general here. So when you are sitting there like I am, uh, farming overnight here you're going to get a little bit more value out of that and i will be the first one to say that when it comes to hell mode um you i definitely i'm getting a really really good amount of gold i mean if you guys have seen my first few videos i was sitting there with very very uh, low amounts of gold and now i'm waking up with a, i think an additional like 200 to 250 maybe even 300 000 gold here it's pretty nice it's pretty nice here so um let's see what we can do can we get lucky here when it comes to the uh gin one i hope that we can Pull a natural five star, but again, even if we get a four star, I'm totally cool with that. We need a ton of skill ups here. I really, I haven't even messed around with Soho that much, uh, because of the fact that I've been, I just been using Carlotta everywhere since I've invested so many Ragoon into her, and she just, she's just super OP. But um, you know, honestly, I feel like uh, uh, Paper Soho needs to get, you know, needs to get some love, but I, I need to get those. I need to get those uh, skill ups here. So let's go ahead and do the premium scrolls real quick. Let's get the uh, let's get the bad vibes out. See if we can pop that nat four. We did not. It's not gonna happen today, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and run it out. If if that's an Ignis right there, I'll be happy. Oh my God, Hector, get out of here. So uh, obviously I'm waiting for more Ignis skills. We'll be talking about that down the road in some future videos. Now we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get something fresh. Nothing fresh up in there. That's all good. All right, so here we go. We're looking for the Sohos, we're looking for the Eves. That's what we want in these two particular scrolls here. We're gonna go ahead and pop it out because we know it's gonna be a guaranteed. Hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about there. That's what I'm talking about. We will, like I said, we want the Eves, we got the Eves, all right? Chrono, Chrono's actually a really good unit, especially if you have, if you don't have a Carlotta. Um, Chrono's kind of like that poor man's uh, Carlotta there. He has that ability um, that allows him to accelerate your cooldowns for a certain amount, I think it's 150% for 10 seconds there um, with a damage reduction ability. And then he has a unique mechanic, uh, the scissor one, a uh, unique mechanic, I think it's called time pause, where essentially stops, uh, you know, essentially stops the, the, the heroes in and of itself from essentially doing anything, right? Their skills, everything is essentially paused. So I've heard a little bit from the D6 community that this can essentially bypack the breaking system. I haven't tested it out all too much because the chances of his skill coming into play is still, it's like 45 to 55%. So haven't seen it, haven't seen it work in a play on that aspect when it comes to the breaking, but I'm curious to go ahead and test it out and give you guys a little bit of feedback when I get some time to test it out here. Uh, but last but not least, we got ourselves the legendary summon here, the Jin summoning scroll. Again, guys, 70% chance to get the natural four star, 30% chance to get the five star. What's it gonna be? Oh, that's all good, that's all good, okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'd love to see the, we'd love to see the, the, those, those orange sparks here, but unfortunately this was not the case. Well, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish, your Childish Place checking out. Take care, and we will see you all in the next Destiny 6 video. I'm out.